going on youtube is your boy ogt mean and today we got wannabe gangster gets humbled by ranko make sure to get my boy the two mil bum yeah this is a video that has been up here already but you know like i said first time reacting on my channel you know woo -woo -woo. make sure you like come subscribe on the road to 10k at 2300 i will be doing long vlogs like long long vlogs 40 minutes 50 and um yeah at 5k i will be doing away giveaways anyway let's get started Yiddie. our lives are being turned upside down by our 15 year old son dawson dawson has gone from a preppy style child wearing boats to preppy clothes and now he's trying to be gangster oh, all right, Whoa. ladies and gentlemen, it's your favorite Mexican Ranko here. Hope you're all doing well today. I'm not doing too bad myself. Today, we're revisiting Dr. Phil, baby. Let's fucking go. I'm not going to lie to y'all, chat. Apparently, Dr. Phil lost his chill, and he called it quits around a year ago. The show has Damn. ended, which, not going to lie, brings a tear to my eye. So that's why today we're taking a blast to the past with an early episode of Dr. Phil. I asked y'all a couple days ago what series you guys wanted me to bring back, and Dr. Phil was surprisingly one of the top requests. So we're bringing it back. Today, we're watching an episode about this teenager who's acting gangster when he comes straight out of suburbia bro is not from oblock make sure to go check out my second channel i'm going to be posting fun gaming and reaction and a bunch of different discord content a bunch of different type of shit bro go subdo it and yeah shameless promo over let's watch the video our lives are being turned upside down by our 15 year old son dolls okay just in this frame alone i can tell bro plays a lot of fortnite pretty sure the only shooting that this guy i mean kid is doing is uh, on a video game bro is not gangster dawson has gone from a preppy style child wearing boats to preppy clothes and now he's trying to be gangster hey chat but on a serious note how many people do you know like this in real life there's so many people so i've many. added on snapchat and so many so many want to be thugs i'm tired of it if you're not really from there don't you know like that that shit's not cool stop trying to false claim you you get killed for that I, I grew up, I have I ain't grew up doing those type of things, but I grew up with people and around people who was like that. And at first I did up until, you know, where it could lead me. And then I just started acting myself, being cool, being my, cause at the end of the day, it's not worth it. You either go to jail or you, we not gonna say it in the words. That I'll have added that are just like flexing guns and posting like three grams of weed, acting like they're in a gang. Like, bro, I wish I could just swipe up and be like, you're a bum, but I should probably just on Adam to be honest. Dawson is dangerous and he's completely out of control. Soon after we moved, Dawson started hanging around with, to say the least, the, the wrong crowd. If you ask me, it's a bunch of thugs. Oh shit, Pop's coming in, a bunch of thugs! Nah, but on a serious note, this guy is a good dad. You can tell he's concerned about his son. And I can imagine it being pretty hard for a parent to like keep their son out of a bad crowd or daughter. Dawson will get an attitude and call me his bra, and I'm his mother. He started getting into trouble. Dawson was caught distributing pot at school. That's gotta be mm. one of the dumbest things to do in high school. One, because okay. there's like school cops, and two, because because it's just like, why at school? Why would you sell weed at school? They're gonna smell it, like, bro. And this goes without saying, but kids shouldn't even be selling weed, let alone smoking it. He was expelled. Dawson and his friends were caught giving pills to a girl at the local skating rink. Oh, okay, so this kid, yeah, this kid's a bad kid. Goddamn, pills at the skating rink is crazy. Chat, please make a promise to me right now in the comment section that none of you guys will ever start popping pills, bro, because that's like the depths of despair. I've met people in my life that pop Zans and pop Hydra and coming from somebody who's been out of that type of environment where those drugs are around, popping pills is dumbass activity, bro. Unless it's like prescription and your ADHD me Yeah, that, that, I don't condone that. Even though I used to, well, I don't, I do it occasionally, but I, I'll just say don't do it. I'll just say don't do it. I'm letting y'all know right now from experiences of meds like that's yeah, different it's, it's not but if you're popping pills pills you're a dumbass bro i'm sorry and if there's somebody watching this that pops pills you need to hear that bro get it together next thing i knew the police were at our front door bringing dawson home that night 
I was furious. Dawson has become really fascinated with guns. When you look at his social media page, it's full of him with guns and drugs. Bro, I never understand why people will post guns on Snapchat. I mean, obviously it's because they want attention, right? And validation and they want to have the mysterious, scary aura, right? But a lot of the time, the people who post them are normal suburban kids who aren't a part of a gang. And a lot of the time, they don't even shoot the damn gun. So like, it's like, why are you posing oh, with man. it on a Snapchat post? You just look goofy. Prop. And when it comes to this kid, Dawson, on this Dr. Phil show, I'm pretty sure he's the same case. Now, Dawson's been running away. Just a few weeks ago, Dawson disappeared. We contacted the police. The local news even ran stories to be on the lookout for. Damn, missing for 16 days is crazy. Chat, I don't know if y'all relate to this, but back when I was a kid, I used to run away. But it would only be for like 20 minutes at a time. And I'd be oh, like, yeah. okay, shit, I need to go back home. I'm too scared to be out here on my own. And I'd just open the front door again like, hey, I'm back. But 16 days? Yeah! Berkeley County deputies need your help to find a 15-year-old runaway. The sheriff's office says Dawson was last seen Monday morning. After six days, the police did find Dawson. He was at my sister's house for four days, and he took her van and took off. He picked up a 13-year-old girlfriend. He was driving 110 miles an hour down the road and posting yeah. it to social media. 13-year-old girlfriend, and you're speeding while recording? Holy sh! this kid is a degenerate. Like, bro, he's covering all the bases of wrong choices to make. Chat, how much y'all want to bet that he got baited into doing this by social media, bro? Because social media is a toxic guy's place. And we see people like weaving through traffic going 100 miles per hour in their cars recording it on social media all the time. It was probably like a combination of bad influences and social media that convinced this kid to start acting like this. We were able to track him down. Now Dawson is back home. Our house is basically turned into a prison. Dawson's staying in the house pretty much seven days a week, 24 hours a day. We've added extra security sensors and cameras. We're just watching his every move. Okay, that's crazy. I get it, but that's cr Me personally, I'll be like, put your dukes up. Put your dukes up. If you want to be a thug, I'm going to beat your flag up. Thug, nigga. Oh. I done said too much, my fan done turned off, probably for the best, it's hot, no, let me stop lying, it's not for the best, it's hot as hell in here, but yeah, I'll be like, put on them gloves, and I'll beat your ass, boy, me, 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 oh, you wanna be thug, uh, uh, shoot me, nigga. Uh, uh. as a matter of fact, give me the gun, uh, you ain't shooting nothing, uh, uh, uh. that's just me, but anyway, let's keep going. Having a security lockdown in your own home. We even purchased cuffs to keep him in the house. We haven't used them yet. They have cuffs? Okay. What is this kid doing? Is he like breaking down doors or something? Like Now when I look at my son Dawson, I just don't know what to think. I'm afraid he's lost. My biggest fear is he's going to end up in jail or end up dead. Mm. Okay. Jack, get ready. It's Dr. Phil time. Guys, can we just jump right Please in here? Sir. Yes, sir. We're talking about your son. Absolutely. Robin and I raised two boys, so I, I relate to these boys and all the things that they can get into and all the temptations that are out there for them. I wonder what Dr. Phil has done back in the day. Y'all think he's like gotten arrested over some crazy shit before when he was a teenager or something? I see it. Because he's talking like he's speaking from experience or something. I know what these boys get tempted by. Are, are you truly surprised? Did this just come out of the blue? I'm very surprised. Dawson has always been, I mean, he's always been on the mischievous side. Okay, I don't want to hear the backstory for the kid. I'm just going to skip to the part where the kid gets humbled by an ex-gangster. I wasn't sure Dawson really understood what his future could look like if he keeps idealizing this criminal lifestyle. Cook? So I asked my friend Joseph to come and explain a few things to him. This kid seriously thinks that he's going to be accepted in the gang life? He thinks he's going to be top shot up? He thinks he's going to be the new plug of Roseville? Hell no. Go back to doing your math homework. Uh, Joseph, come on out. This kid's about to get destroyed. Don't be like Henry. Who Don't be like Henry. Have a seat. Joseph, you've been watching everything, right? Yes, sir. And um, Chris and Dawn here are the parents, as you know. And uh, Dawson here is uh, 
he seems to be going in an awful lot of trouble to create this thug persona. Um, he's got pictures of him throwing gang signs and s guns in his belt and standing in front of a Porsche. And you've been in the life. What do you say about this? First of all, it's disrespectful. Very much. You got two loving parents right there, man. So something else is inside you that's, that's pushing you out there. But to be a gang member that I think is cool, bro, I've been shot four times. By the time I was 25, I had 13 years incarcerated. I was first arrested at nine years old. But when I walked out of my house, it was nothing but homies. When I walked back in my house, my father was a homie. When he was not in prison. I thought those were the cards that were dealt to me. To hear you say that it's cool, it blows me away, youngster. It breaks my heart. When it comes to like why most people are in gangs, it's usually because they're stuck in that predicament and okay. they feel like that's their only way out. And they also feel like a sense of loyalty and brotherhood from the people that initiate them. So that's like the dynamic of how a lot of like teenagers and young adults get into gangs that are from the hood. But when it comes to a kid who's raised in a middle-class family in a middle-class environment, the suburbs basically, they don't belong in a gang because they have so many other options and so many routes they could take in life to be whatever they want to be, whether it could be going to college or a side, creating a side hustle, whatever. It, choosing a gang, the gang life is just stupid as hell for a kid like this. And it's disrespectful to like glorify the gang life, especially when you come from an environment that's matured past that lifestyle. Meanwhile, this ex-gang member comes from an environment where a lot of people haven't matured past that point, and that's nope. just the reality of the situation. There's people going out shooting each other on the street and shit from where he's from. So when some suburban kid comes up to him and says, I want to be a gangster, it's, it's disrespectful, and it's also like, no, you don't. To carry a gun like what are you gonna do when somebody runs up on you and you got a strap you're gonna pull the trigger and then what you but you you can't give that life back bro i don't think you're a hard kid you don't have a heart you got a heart bro there's nothing cool about taking somebody's life i i i, I promise you this kid is speechless right now because he knows it's true. Like, he he's, he's not even looking at him in the eyes because he's scared. Like, he's he being humbled right now. And honestly, that's what this kid needed all along. He just needed the truth to look at him straight. He wanted to cry so bad. He wanted to cry so bad. My bad, y'all. It's, it's, it's a habit. Is that? Uh, I'm sorry. Face. You were in the Dukes at 11 years old, right? Yes, sir. Is that some place he wants to be? No, sir. Disneyland is a good place to go. <laughs> Disneyland. <laughs> he did it. He did it. Like serious, though. No, no. Also, also, real. Like he's not smiling. He's not nut. He. Disneyland is a good place to go. Like. He's dead ass serious. He's been in that gutter. He knows what he's talking about. Everybody else laughing. He's dead. Clap. He's dead for real serious. The street life, bro. Um, I don't do the scared straight thing because you're gonna be like, ha. Ah, that's what they all say. Going to prison sucks. My boys have died in my arms, man. When I look at the videos, you don't look, and this is no disrespect to you as a person, you don't look tough, bro, but I'm not judging a book by its cover. Mm. You just gave yourself up on national TV. You're going to jail. I was waiting for the police to come in. So your, your gang career is out of, it's out of there. <laughs> it, it, no, it's really gone. It's done. Yeah, that was a good point. I mean, even if this kid wanted to get deep into the gang lifestyle, once you get deep into it, the people who are there don't want you recording what you're doing because it's crime and they want to keep that shit discreet. So yeah, this kid's gang career is already suicided because of the fact that he was recording it like a dumbass. But honestly, that's probably a good thing that he recorded it because now he can't live that lifestyle. And now he has to go back to being a normal kid, being himself, in the suburbs, big chillin', playing Fortnite. Welcome to the team, bro. Anyways, let me know what y'all think about this video. That's the end of the video, but honestly, I, 
if you want to do that lifestyle do you i'm not i'm not nobody's babysitter i'm not nobody you know but all i'm saying is i lost people because of that i i've seen i've seen it with my own two eyes as a youngin is it's not it bro listened to one eminem song and thought he was <laughs> our generation is full of these people it's like 2024 20, and 50 percent of my school has these type of kids that's crazy why is this kid like half of the kids in my school we all know this kid wouldn't make it as a game they would have they would have been beat this nigga just for recording like come on now the people who i know they don't even play like that and they'll mo bro what you do man, put that camera down bro is you stupid like but anyway that's the end of the video makes you like come subscribe on the road to 10k at 2300 i will be doing long vlogs i might see some new people no promises though but um yeah there's a real this a real real life lesson in in these videos like on no bullshit but um anyways this is what ogt man signing out yeah